Hi and welcome back to Marriage Reselling. I'm Simon. I'm Faye. And together we're a UK reselling couple selling mainly on eBay and Amazon. Today we are, we've just pulled up actually at the auction. We are collecting nine lots. Yep, nine. And before we collect, we're actually meeting a couple, Karen and Andrew, who we bumped into in a little village. Jumble sale. Yeah. Yesterday. They also come to the auction, so we decided to meet them for a coffee beforehand. So we're just going to pop in and do that, and then we're going to get the stuff out. Later on in this video, we're going to be showing some more sales from the barn as usual, so stay tuned for that. So the nine lots that I've won, actually you won one, didn't you? You won the first one, the plates. Yeah. Um, and the rest I won, but I'm really annoyed because there was two lots that I was really, really interested in, and they were clearly put into the auction by the same person but they were split the one was down one end of the room one was the other end of the room but they had items in there that were from the same set that were split so anyway in the first one i noticed an emma bridgewater mug and in the other one was an emma bridgewater teapot and a mug we bid on auction online we don't come to the auction to bid live and you can set alarms to alert you to when an auction is coming up that you want to bid on or a lot that's coming up that you want to bid on. So I set all the alarms and you did too on your laptop and they failed us. I'm sitting there working on something on my laptop, doing something completely different, waiting for the alarm to go off to notify me that the Emma Bridgewater stuff's come in and it didn't go off, so I missed it. So absolutely kicking myself about that. And the really frustrating thing is that one of them went for 10 pounds and I might not have won it for £10 because I could have got into a bidding war with the person that won it. So the price probably would have gone up. But I'm just kicking myself that I didn't get the opportunity to bid because technology failed me. And the other one went for too much money. Uh, but hopefully the other ones should make me happy. These three. Yep. Wow, what's this? Mega mug. How much did you pay for five, three, five, four? Yeah. Really? Isn't yeah. this the one where you said, oh, I'll get it if it's a couple of quid? Yeah, I know, but I, then I had And you paid £21. Yeah. It'll be fine. Look. Ooh, it's not seen that one before. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm not a regular. So should we put it? Yeah, let me load that one up. Yeah, this one is twelve pound, fourteen pound fifty-two. Got a lid for it as well. The lid's not going to go on because that's plate. Is it five three eight one? Five three eight one. How many? Two boxes. How much do you pay for them? Nine ten. Five ten. Oh. 5384. Yeah, that was £9.68. What's in here then? These treasures. What's this? This one is it just this then? Yeah, just no one's bidding on it, so I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Cage containing dragon pattern trinket pot box atomizer. What's an atomizer? 
Perfume spray. Oh, scent bottle and lidded bottle, four pounds. Yeah. What else have we got? Oh, okay, yeah. So what one was this? Five, four, five, nine. Uh, four pounds. Dutch blue and white crockery plus imari and other dishes and crown derby style plate. And then this one was... Paid up on this one. 40 pounds plus yeah. 8.40, so 48 pounds. We've got this Bon Jovi belt buckle from 1994. Mm -hmm. We've also got a Celeste, I think it's a belt buckle, yeah. so it made in USA in 1979. Yeah, there's all sorts of treasures in there so oh, I, I liked this as well what is it it's like a little no drink it cool. So we are out now. We met Karen and Andrew. We were in, we were chatting to them for, God, it was like over an hour, wasn't it? It was it great, was, really, yeah. really nice. Really nice to learn about um, sort of how, how other people resell, the sort of things they're interested in, uh, chatting about all sorts, weren't we? Yeah, we, we, we're interested in very similar things at the auction. Um, so we've probably been in bidding wars with them before, I should think. Mm. And they had noticed the Emma Bridgewater stuff as well. So now it's all in the car, you've had a good look. Are you pleased with it? Yeah, I am pleased. Uh, there was a few bits that I bid on just because they were cheap. Um, I do that occasionally. Um, but yeah, there was one that I paid up on and I am really pleased with that. I, I, there's a lot of learn, learning to be had with that one. I'm no expert because it's jewellery and metal stuff and watches and all that sort of thing. But I'm really interested in, in listing that lot. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really, really pleased. We, it'll be pence per item. Uh, I wanted to show you the lot with the Emma Bridgewater in it or both lots of the Emma Bridgewater stuff in it, but they've already been collected. But it got me thinking, are there items that you regret not getting hold of? So it could be a car boot, it could be a charity shop, jumble sale, auction. Are there, or is there something you've missed out on in the past that still kind of haunts you now? Because I mean, there's probably a few for me. One in particular is was a vase, and I have mentioned it last year. I think more than once in a video. It's still, still there. Yeah, it, it was in a Bernardo's local to us, and it was really nice. And I was umming and ahhing over it, and it, it was quite expensive. And I remember talking to the lady that works in the shop about it, and she said, "Yeah, it is really nice." And a couple of weeks in a row, I was in there, and it was in there. And I just oh, I couldn't decide. And then I went back in and she said, oh, it's got transferred to another shop. And I was kicking myself, really kicking myself because it was a real sort of showstopper, European colored glass vase. It was beautiful. And yeah, kick myself to this day about that one. Um, so yeah, have you got anything that you regret? I know Pound Girl Reseller, if you follow her on Instagram, she has mentioned in the past about some cutlery years ago that she passed by in a charity shop and actually they were on antiques roadshow and they were worth quite a lot uh, so someone else had got a massive bargain oh, wow. um so yeah if, is there anything else like anything that's happened to you that you want to share with us we'd love to hear yeah this week's auction was a bit quiet we we went and looked at the lots last week because there'd been a bank holiday uh it hadn't filled up at all so the auction was actually done by one o'clock wasn't it mm, yeah so there was less um to for us to choose from kind of less of the sort of stuff that we typically pick up um definitely in the in the car right now we've got nine lots that's going to keep me busy for a few weeks uh especially with the house clearance stuff as well so yeah super super pleased with what we've got just a quick note to say that we're on not another flipping podcast today uh it's on youtube and spotify so check that out i'll put the link up now the video is a bit blurred so apologies for that we didn't realize our connection was bad we're in the sticks i'd have switched it to 4g if i'd have known but didn't know at the time of recording i was very tired i didn't feel well either I banging headache so i might be a bit like mm. yeah so we haven't seen it. it was recorded a little while back so i hope you enjoy that if you do choose to go over and watch or listen let's talk about these sunglasses first shall we okay why they, not they are french connection sunglasses they cost 10p they are they still have all the stickers on the lenses and they sold for 17.99 within two and a half months they oh. were oh, i can't remember where they came from must be auction 10p yeah 
Then we've got crate 28. It's the vintage Pyro Ray measuring jug, 240 mil, made in Mexico. Pyro Ray. There mm. we go. That cost uh, 48p. That took three months to sell, and that sold for £4.50 plus post just to get rid of it. Woohoo! Then we've got the football boots. They are Nike Total 90 Shoot 2 TF UK size 9. In a head bag. In a head bag. They cost £4 from a charity shop. We parasited those. And they sold for £40. That was the best offer that came through last night. They took a month to sell. Here we've got this jewellery box. Don't have a cost price for this yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be about a pound. It's a vintage jewellery box, wooden, dark wood, three layers with a drawer and a lift up lid with velvet lining. And that sold for £29.99 within 24 hours. That was from auction. Crate 16. The vintage glass abstract art knots. Two of them. I think these are from a charity shop. They cost a total of £3.98. And they sold on offer for £20 plus post within three months. Then we've got some uh, vintage homeware decor, knitting, crochet and lace patterns. So these are all sort of homeware items that you can make. Uh, Christmas decorations, tea cozies, doilies, that sort of thing. They cost 10p for the bundle and they sold for £8.49 plus post and sold within a month. I think it's 11 different pamphlets and booklets there. Then we've got the Hario V60 ceramic coffee dripper in red. This cost £1.28. That was from auction. That sold within two and a half months for £22.49. The vintage lead crystal cut glass vase. And that cost 93p and that took about five months to sell for £7.64 plus post. And then we've got the last lot of the vintage amber glass tumblers, four of them made in Mexico, sold for the other day. These are sold to a repeat buyer, so I'm wondering if it is the same person that got the first lot. Mm. These cost £2 from a charity shop and sold for £11.49 plus post within five, uh, four months. That's two bits of Mexican glass, the jug, okay. and those amber ones. It's got some sales here to show you. Uh, we sold three of these Conway Wedgwood. Oh, there we go. Wedgwood Conway like tart plates, like they're big. Three of those together. They cost three pounds thirty-three. They sold for thirty-five forty-six, and they took six months to sell. We've got this Villawine Bock French Garden platter and this cost. Oh, we don't even have the cost yet because it's sold so quick. It'd be around about a pound, probably less. And this sold within hours and that sold for £16.98. As I said, that took hours. Uh, it's from auction. They were from auction. We sold one of our tripods, which we've had kicking around for a while. We've got five or six left now. Uh, no cost associated to them. That sold for 803. And annoyingly, I've already packed it, so I completely forgot to film. This is a Denby plate. Now, Faye picked this up from a charity shop for five pounds because some of the Denby stuff can go for really good money. As I said, cost five pounds. Sold it for. 16 pounds taking five months to sell we listed it way way higher this is not one of the ones <laughs> that's valuable so there you go we've got this cake plate it's possibly wildman foley pre shelly um this cost 73p and sold for nine pound plus post had this four months for months and months and months so i'm glad that's going that was from auction well, not four months no four months for months loads of months then we've got this vintage minton haddon hall cake stand plate so it's got a hole in it because it's for a cake stand but it's not the actual stand it's just the plate let's hope they get that i've spelt it out numerous times on the listing that cost one pound 14 from auction and sold for 9.99 plus post and that took a month to sell great 24 vintage japanese saucers five of them hand painted porcelain this cost 40p or this lot cost 40p from auction in january had zero interest so took an offer of eight pound plus post that took two and a half months to sell crate 16 two more english pewter company vogue crystal tumblers oh, yes doing very well they are. Uh, cost 57p, sold in less than a week for £18. Home. Portable cap gun bottle opener. 
This these aren't banned. <laughs> <laughs> this cost 49p and sold for 4.99 plus post within two and a half months. That was from auction. It's a bottle opener that then fires the caps. Yeah. And then someone's bought two things off us. First is in Crate 11. It's a sunflower mug, cold and wear, ribbed, tall and brown. That's the one. That has taken five months to sell. That cost £1.11 from auction. And then they also bought from us out of Crate 24, a vintage pelican figurine. There it That's is. Pelican to me. Yeah. And that cost £3. That was from... Sounds like a charity shop. It does sound like a charity shop. And in total, so that's £4.11, they've paid £20.66p uh, plus post. And then we have this DVD. It's called Once Upon a Time, Season 4. It's a US import, Region 1. Cost 25p and sold for £4 plus post within three months. Auction fodder. We've got going out today some of one of our oldest listings. These are Blue Harmony side plates, Barrett's of Staffordshire, three of them. They cost two pound and five p in January twenty three, so over a year, well over a year. Um, we took an offer on those four pound plus post to get them gone because I don't want to see them again. They have we have done sell similar on them in yeah. that time. Then we've got this Royal Dalton Images Sisters figurine sculpture. This cost fifty three p, sold within two weeks for fifteen pound plus post. That was from auction. Then we've got this, we're not going to unwrap it, but it's a Meekin Old Willow Large Serving Bowl. It cost 77p and sold for £11.24 plus post. That was from auction and that took, uh, not sure how long to sell, but it was sold once and it got sent to a Sainsbury's. The person didn't collect it, so it got sent back, so we relisted it. Yeah, it's been less than a week since that was relisted and it's not going to the same buyer. Yeah. Thank God. Then we've got this vintage stoneware jug picture. Uh, cost 54p and that has been listed for about five months that was from auction that sold for 14 pound 24 plus post to a repeat buyer they bought it on friday i think it was and said they'd pay on tuesday and we're like yeah whatever but they actually kept to their word and did pay today it is heavy super heavy i think i'll probably put that in there 1728 then here we have a vintage traveling collar box with original collar for a shirt that cost £3.11, that was from auction, that sold for £25.19 within about six weeks. Then we've got this vintage Ernest W. Gibbons London wall clock. That cost 57p and that sold for £62.99 in less than a week, that was from auction. And then we have this vintage Blue Mountain Pottery Swan Vase. Uh, Blue Mountain Pottery comes from Canada. That cost 44p from auction, took uh, less than three months to sell for £6 plus post. And then we have this English Pizza Company single stag head tumbler. That cost 57p, that sold for £16 and 9p within a week and that was from auction as well. Just while I'm packing, Faze bought me these couple of items that have sold. These are Ancient Order of Forrester Friendly Society pen and mechanical pencil. They're bought from auction, 44p, sold for 7.48 in two months. And this Orla Keeley, is it Orla Keeley? I think it's Keeley, it might be Orla Kylie. I have heard some people say Orla Kylie, so I don't know, Faye probably does. And I'm sure she'd love to tell you about this, but I'm picking it. I've got to film it because I'm getting it out. So this cost 57p from auction, and it sold for 24.49, it's like a biscuit barrel, sugar pot, coffee pot, don't know. And that sold in less than two weeks. I nearly forgot about these slender wine glasses, three of them, they cost 28p. They have taken five months to sell. They were from auction and they sold on Vinteria for 12 pound plus post. We hope you enjoyed seeing those sales and the rest of this video. Don't forget to let us know if there's anything that still haunts you now that you've missed in the past. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.